I'm extremely exhausted. I feel like doo-doo. I've been up since 12.30 this morning. Right now it's 4.55 and 55 degrees in my house. My nipples are rock solid right now and I need to get dressed. I'm supposed to leave by five o'clock, which is in four minutes. But before I get dressed, Samantha, say hi. All right, fuck out of here. Okay, I am beyond excited. I haven't uploaded a video in so long, but that's what today's video is about. Also, I'm going to meet one of my biggest idols ever, Gary Vaynerchuk. Also, I need to leave because it's 514 and I'm going to be late. But before we do that, two things. One. You gotta look at the fit, you gotta check the fit out. Right now, go in the comment section, tell me how I'm looking, tell me how I'm looking, tell me what the fit looking like, one out of 10. 10 being the best, one being you need to take the whole thing off, do something else. All right, number two, we need to get coffee, we have to. All right, we just pulled up to the Flying J, 535. I am super behind schedule. That's besides the point though. The point is today we are going to discuss one, why I haven't been uploading YouTube videos and two, why that's important to you. Also why every time you decide that you wanna start something and you never go through with it, I'm gonna tell you exactly why you are doing that. But first, like I said, coffee. I already got too much energy. I don't know why I'm getting coffee. All right, all the way. All right, we got it, Siri, we got it. All the way from San Antonio, Florida to Orlando, Florida, we have made it. It's not a great view right here, but this place is freaking gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie to y'all right now. I'm nervous as shit, but uh, we're about to go right here. I think we're about to pay right here. I really, I mean, come on now. I paid big bucks to come here. Hold up. All right, so we made it, but I don't know where I'm at right now, but look at this place. This place is gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. Small town niggas ain't supposed to be out here. Quick little update. It is currently 10, 18 a.m. I am exhausted. I have a lot of energy. I, I have to say this is probably the best day of my entire life. Gucci bags under my eyes. Do you see this? Do you see this right now? That's besides the point. The point is this is an amazing event. I got like a couple minutes to charge my phone. My phone was literally at 1% when I was recording. So I decided I would run to my car for the 10 minute break to charge my phone for like five minutes. And I got I got to run back soon. We had two amazing speakers come on stage. We had Joseph McClendon III come on and teach us about neuropsychology and how to get yourself to overcome procrastination, which is huge. One, two, three. I'm so big. The second speaker was Dean Graziosi. But basically, these people come on stage, they came from nothing and they change their lives. They're teaching entrepreneurs how to get more out of life, basically. And that's kind of what this video was about. I didn't know what to expect when I was coming into this event. And it's weird how like everything that I'm learning today is kind of like tying into like the mindset that I had before I even came here. It's crazy but like i said i only had like a couple minutes for break because i had to charge my phone to make sure that i could get a video of gary v coming out <laughs> i'm so excited so we're about to run back in there peace <laughs> dog so we just got to watch gary vaynerchuk live Pretty much the things that he said, he pretty much says in like every single last one of his videos. But when you get to see it in person, firsthand, from Gary Vaynerchuk, that shit is mind blowing. Uh, it's it's life changing stuff. But I'm gonna wrap it all up and talk about it when I get home. So let's go. Long day, long, 
long day. Finally home from the event. Let me tell you real quick though, I almost just got into a car accident. So I'm driving on the highway. Mind you, I got like three hours of sleep this morning. I'm on the highway, my GPS says to turn left. I start turning left and realize this is oncoming traffic. So I'm sitting there like a dumbass, and I'm like, where do I go from here? And these cars are at the stoplight, and I'm facing them. So I decide, hmm, I can't turn around. Let me drive forward. So I'm sitting here literally feet away from a car. I don't know why I drove forward. So I'm sitting here feet away from a car ready to drive forward. I, I don't know what I was thinking. And then homeboy literally sits there like Grand Theft Auto and he goes, and I'm like, what do you want me to do? So the car in the lane next to him drives off when the light turns green. Then he proceeds to drive around me. Then I proceed to break the law and do some type of loop-de-loop -loop to finally get back on the main road. And all that shit stressed me out. So I went to McDonald's and I got a Big Mac meal. Awesome. So, the event is over. Um, I'm back at home now, finally. It took me like two hours to get home. It was amazing. Seeing Gary V in person really put things into perspective. Like life in general. Not because Gary talks about life so much and perspective so much, but the fact that we look at these creators, and this also ties into why you're not getting started on that thing that you wanna do, whether it's YouTube, making music, whether it's hair, makeup, whatever it is, drawing, whatever it is, that thing that you wanna do, the reason why you are not doing it is this right here. When I got to see Gary V on stage and in the same room as me, a couple hundred feet away from me, the the reason why I put things into perspective is because we're so used to seeing these celebrities and these personalities with such large followings on screen. Now, you might be a type of person that goes to concerts or sees your favorite celebrity, but at the same time, you still put them on that pedestal of even though you're in the same arena as them, they are so above you that whatever they have is just unattainable for you. When I saw Gary V, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not, this is not to be braggadocious, it's not to think that I'm better than anyone, but when I was in there with those multi-millionaires on stage, I genuinely felt like these are my people, like these are the people that I'm supposed to be with. My friend group, my family, everyone literally around me, I just feel like I don't fit in. And when I was there at that group, I was sitting with potential entrepreneurs and that was like the minority. It was like the 5% the of us who haven't started a business that was us the rest of the audience 95% of the people were already they already had businesses making sales and the people who got on stage were pitching like two thousand dollar products and these people were jumping out of their seats to go buy it same day after they already bought the ticket just to be there i was like what how y'all got money like that like give me your phone number fax what's up email it just really put things in into wow i can't talk today it really just put things into perspective so the reason why you are not starting on your YouTube channel. The reason why you started on YouTube and you quit me, the reason why you really, really, really wanna do that one thing, whether it's gaming, drawing, beauty, editing, animating, whatever it is, it's simply this. That thing that you wanna do, you are putting it on a pedestal. Let's say you wanna draw. You are saying being an artist is above who I am. If I'm not making music every single week, I'm saying being a music artist is above who I am. I'm here, being a music artist is here. I'm not saying a person that makes money, I'm just saying someone who makes music is above me. And that's where you create the resistance that stops you from doing what you are meant to do in life. Stop creating resistance. I cannot speak tonight. Stop putting things on a pedestal. You are good enough. If you wanna be rich, don't, don't let people tell you that you can be rich. If there's somebody in your life telling you that, that you can't have whatever you know is meant for you in this life cut them oh i mean cut it 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 no seriously like 
cut those people out. You really don't need those negative thoughts in your head. They're gonna block you from what you are trying to achieve in life. You know why I haven't been uploading on YouTube? It's because I've been I've been thinking that I need I need to make the most viral video. I need to every single time I drop the video, it's gotta be the most high quality. I gotta make sure I got the most expensive camera. I gotta make sure everything goes viral. Like wrong post consistently just go and go document your journey i'm on a journey right now i want you to be here for this journey i want to see y'all's journey you know i can't wait i'm 20 years old right now i cannot wait until i'm 25 and i get to look back at this video and i say oh my goodness that kid was terrible on camera <laughs> start your journey right now start the journey it's not about blowing up it's not about being the next big thing i stopped uploading on tiktok just because i didn't get 300,000 views for every video <sighs> start the journey rant over listen hit the subscribe button i am committed to being a full-time youtuber right now i don't know exactly what that means i'm gonna define that after this video but once a week is my goal to upload on this channel. And I know that if I tell myself it's not I'm gonna try, I'm going to do it, I am going to do it. Every single week I am uploading a video to this channel. Not because I hope it goes viral, not because it's gonna be the best video, but I'm uploading something giving value to you. I wanna break down psychological tactics that you can use in your life to love your life just a little bit more than you did before you watched the video. Hope you got some value from this video. I love you. I want to see you prosper and have abundance in your life. With that being said, I will catch you in the next video. Adios. Feeling is strange. Like when I'm blowing money on parties in too many shoes. Will I still be invited to the old barbecues? Will they treat me differently because my bills all paid? Is it bad for me to change so I can start making change? Fuck.